everybody. In this video, we're gonna talk a look at how DNA trans RNA, which trans protein. First, let's talk about protein. Protein is an essential part of human diet. It's found in variety of food like eggs, dairy, seafood, legumes, meats, nuts, and seeds. The protein that we eat gets broken down and reformed into new protein in our bodies. This protein do everything from fighting infections to helping cell divide. You name it, they are doing it. And it's a sample. Protein is a chain of amino acids bound to one another by peptide bound. The purpose of this video is to explain how protein is produced in eukaryotic cell. In order for our bodies to function, we need to supply them with a variety of nutrients we get from our diet. Our bodies cannot use the food as it is when it enters our digestive system. The process of chemical digestion uses different proteins and enzymes to break down food particles into usable nutrients our cells can absorb. Where are the instructions to manufacture these and all the different types of proteins we need to stay alive? The instructions to make a protein are contained in our DNA. DNA contains a gene. A gene is a continuous string of nucleotide containing a region that's called for RNA molecule. These regions began with a promoter and ends in a terminator. Genes also contain regulatory sequences that can be found near the promoter or at a more distant location. For some genes, the encoded RNA is used to synthesize a protein in a process called gene expression. For this gene, expression can be divided into two processes, transcription and translation. In eukaryotic cell, transcription occurs in the nucleus where DNA is used as a template to make a messenger RNA. Then in translation, which occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell, the information contained in the messenger RNA is used to make a polypeptide. During transcription, the DNA in the gene is used as a template to make a messenger RNA, strained with the help of the enzyme RNA polymerase. This process occurs in the three stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. During initiation, the promoter region of the gene function as a recognition site for RNA polymerase to bind. This is where the majority of gene expression is controlled by ether permitting or blocking access to the site by the RNA polymerase. Binding causes the DNA double helix to unwind and open. Then during elongation, the RNA polymerase slides along the template DNA strand. As a complementary basis paragraph, the RNA polymerase links nucleotide to the 3' end of the growing RNA molecule. Once the RNA polymerase reaches the terminator portion of the gene, the messenger RNA transcript is complete and the RNA polymerase, the DNA strand, and the messenger RNA is dissociated from each other. The strand of messenger RNA that is made during transcription include regions called exons, that's called for a protein, and encoding sections called introns. In order for the messenger RNA to be used in translation, the encoding introns need to be removed, a modification such as 5' prime cup and 3' prime poly A tail are added. This process is called entransplacing and is performed by a complex made up of a protein and RNA called a spliceosome. This complex removes the entron segment and joins the adjacent exon to produce a mature messenger RNA strand that can leave the nucleus through a nuclear pore and enter the cytoplasm to begin translation. How is the information in the mature messenger RNA strand translated into protein? The natural genomes bases are grouped into three later codes called codons. The genetic codes include 64 codons, most codons called for specific amino acid. There are four special codons, one that's called for stars and three that's called for stop. Translation begins with the messenger RNA strand bind into the small ribosomal subunit upstream of the star's codon. Attachment of the amino acid 
The respective accepted tyranny is catalyzed by the amino acyl tyranny synthetized. One molecule of amino acyl tyranny synthetized corresponds to one molecule of amino acid. The amino acylation process of tyranny has three phases. Firstly, the active sites of the amino acid bind the amino acid and the ATP molecule. Then the ATP molecule loses to phosphoric group and joins the amino acid as adenosine monophosphate IMP. In the second phase, the amino acid is bound to the propriety RNA, bound attachment site of the 3' end, and IMP is displaced. Finally, the enzymes release the activated amino acid. Each amino acid is brought to the ribosome by a specific transfer RNA molecule. The type of amino acid determined by the anticodon sequence of the transfer RNA. Complementary base pairing occurs between the codon of the messenger RNA and the anticodon of the transfer RNA. After the initiator, transfer RNA molecule bind to the star's codon. The large ribosomal subunit binds to form translation complex and initiation is complete. In the large ribosomal subunit, there are three distinct regions called the E, P, and A site. During elongation, individual amino acids are brought to the messenger RNA strand by complementary base pairing of the codon and anticodon. Each anticodon of the transfer RNA molecule corresponds to a particular amino acid. A charged transfer RNA molecule bound to the A site and the peptide bound forms between its amino acid and the one attached of the transfer RNA molecule. The complex slides down one codon to the right, where the now and charged transfer RNA molecule exits from the E site. And the A site is open to accept the next transfer RNA molecule. Elongation will continue until a stop codon is reached. A release factors bind to the A site at the stop codon, and the polypeptide is released from the transfer RNA molecule at the P site. The purpose of the entire complex dissociates and can reassemble to begin the process again at initiation. The purpose of translation is to produce polypeptide quickly and accurately. Simultaneous translation is happening by a polysome. A polysome is a group of ribosomes moving along the same mRNA. Each ribosome begins the 5' end of the mRNA and progresses steadily towards the prime end. New ribosome attach the 5' end at the same rate as the previous ones move up, move out of the way. This multiple initiation a lot of cells to make much more protein for a single message. The new ribosome had to complete the task before another could begin. When the ribosome reached the stop codon, the ribosome, new protein, and the messenger RNA dissociate from each other. After dissociation, the polypeptide may need to be modified before it is ready to function. Marification take place in different organelles for different protein. In order for a digestive enzymes to be secreted into the stomach or intestine, the polypeptide is translated into the endoplasmic reticulum. Marified dessert passes through the Golgi, then secreted using a vesicle through the plasma membrane of the cell into the lumen of the digestive tract. Proteins are needed for a most physiological function of the body to occur properly, such as breaking down food particles and digestion. And the processes of transcription and translation make the production of proteins possible.